something we've been working on for a long time. So we're absolutely ecstatic that uh, Bromley have given us the go ahead. The aim of this Bromley is to create a category run for the league family for the boys. We have 200 boys in our care at any one time. We keep a lot of young men active off the streets. I'm hoping we can take the support the street, all those playing up to the this is an academy that we can all be really proud of, right in the heartland of our catchment area. Finding a piece of land has been extremely difficult and then attaining planning, full size indoor pitch, refurbishing all the buildings, landscaping. Actually the most complex thing is probably around the environment and the, and the flow of the water, controlling the water and building up the pitches. So it's been an incredibly complicated project, but I think this will give an exceptional opportunity to the boys, not just in their footballing development, but in their educational mentoring we can improve all of those using the facilities that we've got. Massive community use for the area. We will make this site available to schools, to colleges, for our foundation, for local coaching courses. We, we do have an issue with, with, with the current situation and, and, and obviously the primary concern of everybody is to be safe and to follow the rules, to follow the guidance. If that stops us for some reason getting on with the building work, it does. You know, there are more important priorities at the moment than, 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 than this even. But that accepted, we're going to crack on as soon as we can. We're looking at ways that we can do anything we can. You know, it's, a, it's an incredibly fast developing situation, as, as we all know. Um, as I said in my message to supporters, you know, we would just urge people that we might be able to reach, maybe that, that, that other people don't, because they're interested in the club, to follow all the guidance. You know, to really follow it as, as strictly as you can. You know, this is a huge um, threat to all of us, to our health, um, to our well-being, to economically, to all of us and it's something we need to take extremely seriously. I mean, we've seen the guidance change over the course of three days as people are adapting to new situations, so people have got to keep out, listening out for that, and I think absolutely follow it to the letter. And I know together, if we do that, you know, we can, we can get through this, but it's certainly a difficult time for everybody. Mm -hmm.